Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be making a butternut squash with goat cheese ravioli. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with making my filling. I'm going to set that aside. Then I'm going to be making my dough and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it all together. So what I've done so far is I steamed some butternut squash. So I peeled it, cubed it, and I steamed it so it's nice and soft so that I can just blend it in with my other ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to start off with putting the other ingredients that will go with this butternut squash. So what I'm going to do is I have some goat cheese. I'm going to add that into the batter of squash and then I'm going to add some fresh basil um, pesto that I've just made and if you want to learn how to make this recipe you can go to our channel and see the step-by-step -step recipe on how to make this pesto. So we're going to add our goat cheese, we're going to add some pesto, some salt, a bit of olive oil, and then now I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together, making sure that there's a nice balance throughout the whole recipe, and then I'm going to set this aside, and then we're going to make the dough. The filling for the ravioli is now completed. It is a nice texture full of flavor. We're going to set that aside and I'm going to now make the dough for the ravioli. So we're going to start off with some flour, some salt, so I just added three eggs into the flour and the salt and now I'm just going to add a bit of olive oil into the recipe. I'm going to mix all the ingredients up now and I'm going to get a nice firm dough and then I'm going to prepare and roll it out. I now have my ravioli pasta dough ready. It's all nicely blended in and it's all well molded. So now I'm going to prepare my, my board. I'm just going to line it with some flour so it doesn't stick to the board. And I'm going to create thin layers of the dough and then I have a ravioli cutter that I'm going to use. So we're just going to break it up into a couple pieces and then we're just going to continue pressing down and then we're going to use our roller to roll out our dough. Now you may also use uh, a sheeter, they work very well um, in making the dough thin enough for raviolis. So I now have two sheets of the ravioli dough nicely rolled out and it's quite thin so it's, it's going to be easy to cook when we're ready to cook it. So what I've done is I placed the first sheet in my ravioli mold and then I've I placed my second portion of my ravioli um, to mold out the portion where I'm going to be putting the filling in. And then now I'm going to set my filling inside of the index holes that the molder has made. And then I'm going to put the top layer of my dough on top and then I'm going to mold out my raviolis. All right, so and now we can close it off with our next sheet of dough. 
So now I'm going to press down on the mold because then it will close off. raviolis and then I'm going to cut out the the border to get rid of the excess dough that we don't need so I'm using the extra part that we used for molding out the filling portions I just trimmed it upside down and what I'm doing is I'm pressing down on my dough so that the two pieces can mold together and I'm just pressing down and as I'm pressing down I'm just gradually tearing off the excess dough that I don't need for the ravioli because the mold itself has like teeth that are cutting down on the closure of the ravioli so once I have all of the excess dough taken off. I'm just going to use my rolling pin just to go through it quickly so that the dough can get cut out in between each ravioli. So I should be able to now turn them over and they should come out nicely. There we go. So we have a nice cutout of a ravioli. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boil a pot of water. I'm going to boil them and then I'm going to serve them with a simple tomato sauce and they should be wonderful. If you like this recipe and you want to see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification.